As 19-year-old Marco Perez walked into court and sat down, prosecutors laid out their evidence. Detective Jermaine Rogers took the stand. He said of the five surveillance cameras at Peach Place Inn, none captured the actual shooting. However, he says they do show that Officer Tudor pulled up, got out of his car immediately, drew his weapon on Perez, who initially put his hands up, but as Tudor approached, Rogers says Perez resisted arrest and a tussle ensued. Rogers says 46 seconds of the tussle are off camera, and that's when the shots were fired. Investigators say Officer Tudor was shot three times with four different entry wounds. He was hit in the left ear, chest, middle of the back, and in his right hand. Detectives say after the shooting, surveillance cameras show Perez picking up his hat and running towards the woods. Rogers says when officers took Perez into custody, he allegedly told the officers, quote, I messed up, I messed up. Rogers says Officer Tudor had on plain clothes with his badge on his waist. According to witnesses, that badge was visible. Yet the defense questions whether Perez knew Tudor was an officer. The general defense, I think you could gather from the tenor of the questions and the answers in the courtroom today, and I'll leave it at that. District Attorney Ashley Rich says a grand jury will get the case before the year ends. Between now and the time it'll take to, for the case to go to grand jury, between six to nine months. Now, the state has not said yet if it will pursue the death penalty. And right now, tonight, uh, Perez is still in jail with no bond. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News. Muriel, thanks. Also today, Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran revealed new information about the gun used to kill Officer Tudor. Sheriff Cochran said the gun was stolen, but that theft was never reported.